Hi, I'm Haley J. Madison. And I'm Allison Egan. And we're from Her Name Was Torment 2. And you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Carousel. This is from Wild Eye Releasing, and it's directed by Steve Radzinski. This movie follows this carousel unicorn named Duke, who is imprisonment basically on this carousel, and he has to let, you know, kids ride him every day, you know, snotty hands, you know, kicking him, just, you know, being abusive to him the whole time and he can't do anything about it so one day this one kid just pushes him too far and he escapes his imprisonment and goes on this murdering killing spree and all to find this kid and kill this kid and anyone who comes in the path of Duke is not getting a free ride alright now Karis Hell I've heard about this movie for a while now saw the trailer it looks ridiculous you know, like it looks like a joke and there's a lot of jokes in it it's a fucking funny movie but it also has a lot of blood and guts and a lot of horror element to it, it it's like the perfect blend of comedy horror like this has everything that you want with comedy horror I was incredibly surprised at this movie I had so much fun watching this it I, I was I'm shocked like I was in shock that I was at the end of the movie watching I go I enjoyed that I really enjoyed that <laughs> I, I, I kept talking about it like I was that was a lot of fun and I haven't been able to talk about a movie like that you know in a long time and being that it, it's a movie uh, you know about a carousel unicorn I almost want to say horse they say horse in the movie a lot and they get corrected and so if I do say horse just you know let me know below and count how many I say it, but I'm trying not to. But uh, this Carousel Unicorn, and he is a fun character. And then there's this Cowboy Cool, who is like a mascot at the park, but he's a sheriff. And uh, he's going to go after him and try to stop him as well. And the things that this horse can do, I won't even correct myself, this unicorn can do uh, is unbelievable. He had, He like throws ninja stars and he has a machete and he stomps people in the face and he just like there's so many different kills in this movie and it's done very well like the there's throat ripping and face you know stomping like I said and uh, it's pretty cool like the practical effects are done very well and I have to say and I'm gonna compare this up there with uh, the movie Hatchet um, there is a scene where Duke kicks this guy in the face and kicks half of his head, like kicks his head in half. And the scene is, like the edit is done so well that it's almost like you can't even tell that it got edited. Like, it's like real person, edit. It's done perfect. I would have to actually say perfect. And I was so goddamn impressed with that, that... I actually like watched it like five or six times. I was like, "Whoa!" I even showed, I even showed my wife. I was like, "You have to watch this," and you know, it was very impressive. And uh, I would say that's up there with the uh, the twist around, like the twi head twist off with in uh, or not twist off the head pull back and hatch it where they bring the camera around, and it was like it looks like one continuous shot. In fact, I think this shot it was it's a totally different kind of shot because it's like boom. But, like, it was probably just as good as that. I'm not saying everything's perfect in this movie. I know I'm talking it up a lot. Um, but it was just a fun movie. And that part, I had, to, I had to make sure I mentioned it in this review because it was awesome. Like, it was just an awesome edit. And, uh, I mean, obviously, when you kicked, him, kicked the head in half, you could tell it's not a real head. But just the way the edit was, it was, like, fun. I was trying to get this on Blu-ray before. Some uh, unicorn fucker wasn't writing me back but I forgive them the movie is actually only 70 minutes long too it's actually a short short movie so and they did it right they it's like you know only a little over an hour that's including you know um, 
the credits at the end and there is a hidden scene at the end so make sure you check you know stick around at the end for that um it it's like everything instead of like making things like go on and on and on they jam-packed it into this hour and i think that's another reason like that made this movie work because often people think they have to make a two-hour movie and they don't the characters in this too very likable very likable like the main characters very likable people um, the main uh, guy, the pizza guy, who was actually the director, uh, he was very oblivious. This girl was hitting on him the whole time, and she he thought he was, she was just talking about pizza, and uh, she was actually talking about sex, and it was that was hilarious. And then there's this other main uh, this other guy I can't think of his name at the moment, but he was hilarious as well, giving out beads to you know girls trying to at a party trying to get them to show their boobs and he was just he was my favorite person in the movie he was hilarious and his voice would go really high when he was like all uh, upset and like angry and there's even captions on here which is amazing because in the past I don't know when they started doing it I don't know if it's just with this uh, this you know DVD but there's actually captions on here for the movie and they were good they were good captions um, there wasn't in the past which kind of sucked and the sound was good uh, everything was at the right level you know again with me I watch in standard I don't have surround sound or any of that crap uh, it's not crap I want it but I don't have it and you know it's it was good sounded good Duke was hilarious uh, really a fun character it's just like a carousel horse brought scene to scene there's some scene where you see him especially in the beginning when he gets off of the carousel he like floats and it's obviously not you know it's just like a I don't know how you do that I honestly don't know how you do that but like some just floating like this and it's like so badly done like it's so cheaply done but like it's funny and uh, it's just like basically a unicorn put into a scene and stuff like that and, he, and the, the horse gets laid <laughs> it's it's crazy this is movies like all over the place and uh, when I put this on Instagram that I was watching it I had got nothing but positive comments in the, the in you know the comment section about like oh this movie was a blast I had such a good time with it and I was like all right let's see and it was it really was and I know I'm talking up this movie I'm not saying anything bad about it um, if I say anything bad uh, there's not enough boobs not enough boobs <laughs> I don't know but uh I think if they made another one I would like to I don't want to see too much enhancement I think they should just do this the same way but not recycled not recycled jokes because he was saying a lot of like in hell like you'll you'll be able to whatever this in hell and he goes and even he pointed out himself like well, I gotta get another line like I've been using that like the like a couple times down the last half hour and I thought that was funny you know like he's actually pointing out that he's you know saying the same shit over and over again I definitely recommend this movie definitely recommend checking it out and uh, if you couldn't tell I like the movie but uh, there's some bonus features on here which I'll show you see the bonus features you have a commentary track cast interviews deleted scenes bloopers and trailers all that kind of good stuff there's also a couple different covers for it I really like this one I think this is a really good cover on here and then there's like the one that was the I believe like the one that they put out for people from their you know whoever contributed to making the movie uh, but yeah this is a this is definitely a, a really cool cover I like it a lot and people are gonna see this and think it ridiculous and it is ridiculous I mean it's a movie called carousel how could that be taken anything seriously it's a good time and I like to say this with a movie when I say it's a good time sit back have a drink smoke something if it's legal in your state or if it's not keep it on the hush I'm not condoning that I don't want to get in trouble but uh, yeah I definitely think this people would really really enjoy this movie and I would I would definitely see this being watched a bunch like I I have definite re repeatability watching this movie uh, definitely gonna be checking this out more than once that's for sure another cool thing that I forgot to add in here was that this was actually filmed not too far from me one of the locations was Allentown which is about an hour and a half from me 
and uh, another one I can't remember where it was from but it's another place in PA and I'm um, not sure exactly how far away that is but it kind of sucks that I didn't know about this I would have actually tried out for a part uh, or, or something you know like that close to me that would have been awesome but yeah that's it everybody thanks for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below and if you're interested in this movie I'll put a link below where you can go and buy it also check out the trailer for this again I always say this there may be spoilers so proceed with caution but that's it everybody thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye